Hey everybody, this is Mario, Pump Shop Foreman, coming at you from the lovely confines of the Pump Shop break room. I just wanted to take a few minutes to brag a little bit about something we've been working on here in the Pump Shop. We started implementing a system called SMED, S-M-E-D, which stands for Single Minute Exchange of Dyes. It is a system designed to dramatically reduce the time it takes to complete equipment changeovers. In simpler words, setups. SMED is a system that reduces setup times which I don't think I have to tell you why reducing setup times at the machine is beneficial. In our line of work, time is money. If the spindles aren't turning, we aren't making money. A successful SMED system can benefit Dixie by lowering manufacturing costs, improving responsiveness to customer demand, and creating smoother startups to keep those spindles turning. Related to the way NASCAR has optimized the way they change tires during a pit stop, that's what we're trying to do here, but of course on a much smaller scale. Our implementation of this system has begun at Work Center 52. What we've done is create setup boxes for our most popular part families machined at this Work Center. We have suction cover nut family, standard packing nut family, hybrid packing nut family, and diaphragm plate family. What we focused on was grouping together jaws, tools specific to that setup, and spare parts accompanied by tool room location for easy retrieval once a spare tool has been used. Previously, even though we were fairly organized with our tools, they were not grouped together by setup, and some tools even shared collets with others. This sometimes created confusion and lost time trying to match up collets with tools because they didn't have their own. What we have now done with SMED is make sure that every tool has its own collet and that tools specific to that setup are grouped together to eliminate the time needed searching. It is literally plug and play now. If you want to know more about SMED, I've included a link in this email that goes more into detail than I had time for in this video. I'm sure you want to see what I've been ranting about all this time. So let's take a walk to the shop floor so you can see what I'm talking about. Here's work center 52. This drawer is the suction cover nut family. You can see here we have the jaws have all the live tooling complete with spare parts labels of what they are what location they're from along with each tool we also have what tool station it goes in here with the red labels very quick change setup this next drawer is the packing up family hybrid family like 346 347 348 we have here the jaws, specific KM50 tooling along with spare inserts. These are the jaws for the second operation. And the drawer for the second operation is here. Here we have all the live tooling. Next drawer we have standard packing nuts, not hybrid, which run on one operation on this machine. So we have the main side jaws and the sub side jaws together, complete with the rest of the live tooling. This of course does not include common tools such as drills and boring bars and roughing inserts that we use on several setups. Here's a diaphragm plate drawer, which is pretty much empty because that's the setup that's in the machine right now. 